everybody, this is Laura Lee from Personal Cook Laura Lee. Today I'm going to keep it pretty simple. We're going to do some short ribs pot pie. Come join me, it will be super delicious. So as you can see here, I cut some of the fat off. And as you notice here, this right here, this muscle, this needs to be removed because even though this gets cooked down very slowly, it's still tough. Nice, beautiful piece of meat here. been digging the avocado oil lately. I like it because it tastes really good and can hold um, high temperatures without burning. Pour ribs in. They can get browned. And then after this cooks through, um, I'll add the vegetables and then some of the vegetables, not all the vegetables, and then I'll put it in the oven so that it can slowly cook and it smells wonderful. This one's cooking for about seven minutes. I just flipped them over. I'm gonna make sure all sides are done and then I'm gonna add um, the onions and garlic and then I'm going to put it into the oven so they can slow cook. These are all the vegetables I'm going to cut up and put into the short ribs. About maybe one and a half to two tablespoons of um, sage, a half a tablespoon of thyme, about two tablespoons of rosemary, these two little cute red peppers, and then um, there's eight ounces in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut um, half of them up and let them um, cook in the stove for a long time. And then the other one, I'll, the other half, I'll put in when the pie is ready to go in. So it'll only cook about 20 minutes. So the other ones may just kind of blend into the sauce and then you'll still have a good amount, amount of um, texture to it. And then one little potato, two garlics, two um, celery, and then again, maybe um, a tablespoon of um, chai. So then I'm gonna just chop up the veggies and I already preheated my oven for 375. Crisped up here, um, they have a nice little crust going on. pot in the um, oven I'm not sure if the top of my um, if the top of this of my pan is uh, oven safe I think it is but I'm not taking any chances so I'm just gonna cover it with aluminum foil 
If you have one of those pans, go ahead and, and do that, but I'm just gonna cover it with aluminum foil and cook it down for two hours at 375. And if I notice that it needs more, maybe an extra half an hour, but uh, I think two hours should be good. The great thing about um, you know cooking something the day before, number one, it just adds more flavor. Um, but when you have a fatty meat like short ribs, um, it is very juicy, very tender, very delicious, right? The fat does add some flavors, but look at all that. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna take a spoon, scoop this all out so that you have that well-developed flavors and not so much all of that fat. I mean, who wants to put that into their body? Just wanted to show you here um, I'm gonna get rid of like the fat like this part right here the fat I'm gonna get rid of this but I'm going to hold on to this because nobody ate off of this I just pulled the, the meat out of there so I am going to save this in my freezer when I make soup or stew or anything else I'm gonna have those bone in there going in and that is a lot of the secret to having delicious food delicious soups so this is nice and thick it's very rich because um, there's a lot of fat in the short ribs but I'm just gonna add a little bit of heavy cream and um, I usually don't do this but because it was a celebration of my husband's birthday you know we definitely don't want to cheat any of the flavors and just it's gonna help thicken everything up this is definitely not a meal to have if you're trying to lose weight or you are working on your New Year's resolution. Mm -mm. <laughs> Talk about comfort food. Isn't that beautiful dish already? I think so. from yesterday so I didn't want that to go to waste I'm going to get that around I don't always make it but if I do make my own crust I will sometimes cut rosemary or thyme um, into it and mix it do it into the mixture so that it is on top but like I said it's all it was all about ease this time and I just put seasonings in there dry seasonings then that works just fine pressure herbs I think it's always best. Okay, and the oven is going to go for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. And plus, the meat is cold, um, so it's going to maybe take a little longer than just a 10 minute because everything was already hot when I cooked it originally. 375, about 15 to 20 minutes, depending. Actually, I'm going to leave it on for a little bit more. I think I'm going to leave it on five to seven more minutes. It's been cooking for about 15 minutes. I think the fact that it was 
cold and slowing down the crust cooking process. You can see that it's beautifully coming along. Putting these bones in the freezer for my next soup, stew, or flavoring food. <laughs> 